Hello everyone. Welcome to IELTS with Sukhdi. So, uh, welcome to my today's video. Uh, today I am going to make another video on line chart. So, those who have subscribed me, they already know that I make some videos on writing task one of IELTS academic. So, IELTS is an English proficiency test, and in which uh, there are four modules that we need to attempt. Uh, the four modules are listening, reading, writing, and speaking. So I haven't started making videos on listening, reading, and speaking yet, but I make some videos on writing task one. In writing, there are two tasks that we have to do. One is writing task one, and the second one is writing task two. So there is a much difference between uh, both types of tasks. In the writing task one, we have to write at least 150 words, a paragraph of 150 words, and on the other hand, if I talk about writing task 2, so we have to write at least 250 words, a paragraph containing 250 words at least. So there is a huge difference in the number of words also and there is also different difference between the content that we have to write in task 1 and the content that we are supposed to write in writing task 2. So in writing task 1, we have to uh, do 5 or uh, there are six types of charts that we need to describe uh, like bar chart, line chart, table, pie, process diagram and map. So we have information that we have to summarize in 150 words. On the other hand, in writing task 2, there are some statements relating to our uh, life and the daily issues that we see every day. So there are statements related to uh, the issues and we have to just justify those statements in 250 words. So you can assume that there is a lot of difference between both types of tasks. Okay, without wasting any time, let's begin our today's video on line chart. Uh, line chart, and uh, in today's line chart, I'm going to discuss uh, the amount of money which was spent on books. So today I have a topic in which there is an expenditure of different countries on books. So once again, welcome to IELTS with Sukhdi. So there are uh, different types of topics on which we have to write the essay in writing task one. So there are some examples like sometimes we are given the population of a country and we just have to uh, describe the information about the percentage of population in different years. And we also have some charts that are showing the amount of CO2 emitted in countries. And today we are going to talk about the amount of money spent on books by different countries. And this is how the examiner gives us different types of tasks just to assess our language ability, how we define different types of topics and different types of informations uh, that are having different content. In today's video, we are just going to focus on the amount of money in dollars which was spent by people of different nations on books. So without wasting any time, uh, I have screen over here and on the right side I have a board so whatever I discuss on the screen whatever sentences whatever trends whatever informations we see on the screen we write those sentences on the board I teach everything step by step there are four paragraphs that we need to make in writing task one so the first paragraph is introduction I will teach you how to write this paragraph that is introduction and then comes the overview paragraph uh, in which we have to just give the outlook of the chart and we need to describe major changes and the trends. I will teach you how to do overview paragraph also on the board. Then comes body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2. So these are detailed paragraphs in which we have to give detail of the information. So I will also write both the paragraphs on the board and I will teach you how to write the whole writing task one nice. So let's look on the screen and Let's see what the content of today's task is. This is our today's topic. So we have the statement over here and we have this guideline. So this is what we need to do in the writing task one. And then we have this picture of the line chart. So let's understand the given information deeply. So let's read the statement first. The graph below shows. So we are given a graph that is line graph shows it is showing something it is showing some information to us the graph shows the amount of money spent on books so graph is showing uh, some amount of money that was spent on books fine in germany france italy and austria 
between 1995 and 2005. So basically, if we understand the information, it is saying that there are four countries in which some amount of money was spent on books. And each and every country has different amount of spending on books. So this is our today's line chart. If we look at this, this the picture that is given to us, we have short information, money spent on books. It is just like a short introduction, money spent on books. This is our topic. Then we have vertical axis. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. What the information is? So if we look at um, this, the word that is written is US dollars and millions. So the amount, this is the amount of money that was spent on books. So the amount of money was in US dollars and it was in millions. Like 10 millions were spent on books, 20 million dollars were spent on books, 90 or 80 million dollars were spent on books by the particular country. So we have amount of money here. Then we have different lines, four lines. We have years on the x-axis, 1995, 1997, 1999, 2001, 2003, and finally 2005. So we have different years. If we look at uh, these informations, so what these say is, it is showing that uh, the green line that is on the top is showing the country Germany. So we have then blue line, this blue line states France, then we have the yellow line Italy, find the yellow line here shows the spending on books by Italy, then we have green line for Austria. So this line is showing how much amount of money was spent by Austria on books during the period. So this is our today's topic and we are going to discuss it on the board. So the first step that we need to do is introduction. In introduction, we need to introduce the statement without changing its meaning. We just have to rewrite it and we just have to add some words, but the meaning must not be changed. So you can't understand by uh, whatever I am saying. You need to look at the board and you need to look how I do this so that you could understand it more easily. So let's look on the board how, how I do the introduction part. That is the first paragraph. Now I will do the first paragraph that is introduction. In introduction, those who do not know, uh, in introduction we have to rewrite the statement and we have to paraphrase the statement. Just We just need to clear the examiner what the statement is saying to us, but we have to rewrite it in our own words. So basically the purpose is to introduce the statement in simple words, in our own words to make examiner understand about the type and the content of the chart. So I am going to do the introduction on the board. I will write the introduction myself. So look at the board and understand how we need to introduce the given statement. Point. The first thing is the graph shows. Actually, I always add one word, the given graph. Okay. I am going to add one word that is given because chart is given to us. Fine. But another thing that I'm going to add is line because they haven't mentioned in the statement whether it is a line chart, bar chart, or it is pie chart, or it is some other kind of chart. So it's important because we are introducing the chart to the examiner. So we must not miss any kind of thing. Fine. The graph show. I'm going to write the given line graph. Okay the graph i have written the given line graph then they have written shows the graph is showing something instead of writing shows i always write compares you know the reason that the main motive of chart is to compare the information so that's why i have written compares instead of shows the amount of money spent okay we have this sentence the amount of money spent so the amount of money which is spent is called expenditure on something. So I am just adding one word to replace the complete phrase. I am adding expenditure. So the given line graph compares the expenditure. Okay. Then I am going to write this expenditure of Germany. France, Italy, and Austria 
on books then they have written between 1995 and 2005 instead of writing between i would use from and when we use from you know that we have to use to so this is what i am going to do austria on books from 1995 to 2005 so i have introduced the statement to the examiner let's read it again the given line graph compares i have used this word compares the expenditure of germany france italy and austria on books so it is comparing the expenditure means the amount of money which was spent by germany france italy and austria on books from 1995 to 2005 so i have introduced the statement and meaning is completely same i have just added two or three words like i have added compares i have replaced the shows with compares so then i have used expenditure expenditure is the amount of money that is spent on something then i have added this line word then uh, germany france italy and austria on books then i have replaced between by from and i have replaced and with to so here our introduction is complete so friends we don't have to make it complicated don't use extra ordinary words that are unfamiliar to you uh, this is not going to make any change uh, to the scores because when you use extra ordinary words and you don't use that type of sentences sentence variety examiner easily understands that you are using crammed language so we don't have to use the crammed words and crammed language we just have to use the language that we know naturally so don't make it complicated make it simpler and use your natural language to describe it fine now we have done writing the over uh, sorry paraphrasing the introduction part that is the first paragraph then comes the second paragraph that is overview those who do not know what overview is in overview basically we just have to give outlook of the chart we don't have to give detail information we just have to write two or three sentences showing the changes that are uh, taking place in the chart like today we are talking about amount of money spent on books we will find whether the amount of money increased or decreased which country was spending more and which was spending less so these type of things we just have to describe in overview and we don't have to give actual amount of money fine so before writing the overview it's important to find the trends and changes so for this uh, i am going to move my mobile towards the screen and we will see how to find the trends and points for the overview how to make two or three sentences fine let's look on the screen now we are heading towards the second paragraph that is writing overview in overview we have to make two or three sentences and we need to just describe the general trends and changes so what are the trends in today's chart let's find if you see the chart there's a one line that is completely separate from others so the line is showing that so firstly let's look uh, which country shows this this line so this line is for germany and this is for austria fine this is for austria then the yellow one is for italy fine then we have france which is shown using the blue line and the green line is for germany so when we look at the line for germany it is top on the others means the expenditure of germany was maximum fine so germany was spending uh, a large amount of money on books fine so if we have found the large amount of spending we need, we also need to compare it with someone so we need to find the opposite trend that was least expenditure fine if we look germany is spending large amount of money if we talk about austria austria spent uh, overall the least amount of money on books so these are completely opposite so this is my first sentence for the overview so we have talked about maximum and minimum data now we will look at the changes that occurred during the period fine because we are, we have to compare the each and every information we can't just compare countries 
we are also given the years so we also need to talk about the years in the overview so i'm going to make second sentence talking about the changes that occurred during the period so let's find whether the spending increased or decreased or in which country the spending decreased or increased if we look at germany so the spending was 80 million dollars it increased to over 90 fine here it was between 50 and 60 it increased fine if we see the spending increased and increased fine so the spending in all the countries generally increased fine so we don't have any opposite trend of decreasing expenditure but we can have something comparative like i would like to compare the sentences compare the changes according to the state of change if you see this spending like from 55 to 75 there is only 20 percent change and if we look at 50 to over 60 this is 10 percent change from 80 to over 90 uh, this is 15 to 20 percent change if we look at this from 30 to 70 it is 40 percent change so what i am going to write is although the spending on books increased in all the countries fine using comma then i would write the major or the significant increase in the spending was witnessed by austria so there was a lot more increase in the spending by austria as compared to other countries so this is what i am going to compare in the second sentence now let's look on the board i will make you understand very clearly how i write the overview as per our discussion we saw that germany spent a large amount of money on books however if we see uh, austria, austria austria had least expenditure on books so this is what i have defined in the overview the next thing that we saw was although there was increase in spending in all the countries the most significant increase was witnessed by austria during the period so Germany had a large amount of expenditure, Austria had the least amount of expenditure. Expenditure increased in all nations, but there was most considerable increase in the spending by Austria. So this is what I have written in the overview. Let's see. Overall, so it's important to use this word overall. You know that I'm not going to repeat that. Fine. It is clear that this is a phrase that we use. You can use some other phrases also. Like it is evident that it can be seen that it is crucial clear that. But just go with the simple one as I always say. Fine. Here start. Here here are sentence starts. Germany spent a large amount of money on books. Fine. As we have seen, Germany spent a large amount of money on books. Whereas now I'm comparing it. Austria had comparatively least spending during the period. If we look at Austria, so it had comparatively least spending. So Austria had least spending on books. Fine. Then, although there was an increase in spending on books by all the nations, fine. Although there was an increase in spending on books by all the nations, fine. Most considerable increase in spending was witnessed by Austria. We, we accept that there was an increase in the spending in all nations, but the most considerable change was witnessed by Austria because as we discussed, it grew from 30 to 70. It was approximately 40% change. However, other countries just witnessed 15 to 20% change. That's why I have written this thing. Although there was an increase in spending on books by all nations, comma, most considerable increase in spending was witnessed by Austria. Fine. Here our overview is complete. I have made completely uh, two sentences. The first sentence starts from here. It uh, ends here. From here the second sentence starts and it's, uh, it ends here. So I have... I haven't missed anything. I have also talked about countries 
and I have also talked about overall increase also. So now it's time to write the body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2. As I always recommend you that you should organize or divide the information according to the overview. So in body paragraph 1, I am going to write and I am going to talk about Germany and Austria because I talked about these two things in overview first. Fine. Then I am going to talk about France and Italy in body paragraph 2. So this is how I am going to organize my information in today's line chart. Now I am going to rub this overview and I am going to write body paragraph 1 and we will discuss the body paragraph 1. Here is our body paragraph 1 and I told you that I am going to discuss Germany and Austria uh, in body paragraph 1. That is what I have done in the body paragraph 1. So before looking at the board, I would like you to look at the screen. So what I am going to discuss is in the starting year in 1995. Germany's expenditure on books was 80 million dollars then it increased to 90 million dollars it dropped it decreased to between 90 and 80 means roughly 85 million dollars then it increased to over 90 million dollars means approximately 95 million dollars you can say then I would talk about the expenditure by Austria which was exactly 30 million dollars then it increased to 40 million dollars then it remained same and then it increased considerably to over 70 million dollars in 2005 so this is the information that i'm going to describe here let's see in detail as i used overall word in starting because i wanted to show the examiner that i'm just going to give the overview i'm not talking in details i have used this word detail because now i am going to describe everything in detail okay in detail people of germany spent a significant amount of money on books as compared to france italy and austria so people in germany spent a large amount of money as compared to france italy and austria so i am starting to talk about germany fine in 1995 it is our first year in 1995 precisely 80 million dollars were spent precisely means exactly exactly 80 million dollars as i said 80 million dollars were spent by germany fine it spent a large amount of money in contrast i am comparing it to austria austria had only 30 million dollars spending on books if i talk about austria it had a little amount of spending that's why i have used the word only fine Austria had only 30 million dollars spending on books during the same year. If we talk about the same year 1995, it had only 30 million dollars spending on books. Fine. Now I am going to describe the change. After 1995, expenditure on books increased gradually in both countries. As you can see, it increased in both countries. Fine. Okay. And reached 90 million dollars in Germany. It reached 90 million dollars in germany fine and exactly 40 million dollars in austria looking at austria from 30 read exactly 40 million dollars fine okay i have done talking till 1999 okay i missed something in 1999 fine include it here fine now i am again going to describe the germany because we started talking First about Germany then Austria. I have talked about Germany and Austria again. Now I will describe this decrease and this increase of Austria. So see, after dropping slightly to roughly 85 million dollars in 2010, it dropped roughly to 85 million dollars in 2010. Okay, after dropping slightly to roughly 85 million dollars in 2003, fine. In 2003, it dropped to 85 million dollars, roughly because it was between 90 and 80. Fine. Spending on books rose to over 90 million dollars in 2005 in Germany. In Germany, the spending after dropping slightly to 85 million dollars, it rose to over 90 million. I have used over 90 million dollars. You can also write approximately 95 because it was between 100 and 90. Fine. In Germany in 2005. 
I have done talking about Germany. Now it's time to talk about Austria. Till 2001, if we talk about up to 2001 year, fine. Till 2001, Austria's expenditure on books remained stable at 40 million dollars. So it was 14 million dollars, and till 2001, it remained almost same. It remained stable at 40 million dollars. However, it the expenditure increased considerably, means significantly. to over 70 million dollars in 2005 it remained stable till 2001 okay however it increased considerably to over 70 million dollars in 2005 if we look at 2005 it was a little over 70 million dollars fine we have done talking about the body paragraph 1 now it's time to do the body paragraph 2 so in body paragraph 2 we will discuss the italy and the france the two lines between germany and austria so after writing these two uh, informations relating to france and italy are writing task one will be over so we will not be left with anything else fine i am going to rub this and i will write the body paragraph two on the board and we will understand it now it's time to write the body paragraph two so we are left with uh this france and italy so let's see the trends in these two countries before writing the body paragraph 2 so in in france if we see the spending was between 60 and 50 which means approximately 55 million dollars then it increased to exactly 60 million dollars in 1999 then from here it increased to Around seventy million dollars, or roughly seventy-five, because again it is between eighty and seventy. Fine. If we look at Italy, the spending was exactly fifty million dollars. It was five million dollars less than the France spending. It increased to fifty million dollars. Oh, sorry, fifty-five million dollars. Then it decreased again to the fifty million dollars. Then it kept on increasing and reached around. 60 million dollars in 2005 fine so this is what i am going to describe in body paragraph 2 let's look on the screen let's rub it first we will do it again while describing the information fine the remaining two countries are france and italy now we are talking about france and italy france had in the past because we have past years approximately 50 million dollars of spending so if we talk about france it had a approximately 55 sorry 55 million dollars of spending because it is between 60 and 50 it's 55 million dollars spending on books which was just 5 million more than italy so it was 5 million more as we can see italy had 50 million dollars france had 55 so the spending of france was 5 million dollars more than italy so this is what i have talked here now the spending on books kept on inclining in france and reached 70 million dollars in 2001 so kept on increasing means it increased constantly so now i'm going to talk about france again so the spending on books kept on inclining in france and reached 70 million in 2001 let's see in 2001 it reached 70 sorry in 2001 here we have 2001 it is 70 million dollars in 2001 while the amount of money declined to 50 million dollars again so if we talk about italy it declined to 50 million dollars again after increasing slightly to 55 millions in 1997 55 millions in 1997 so if we see the spending declined to 50 million dollars after inclining to 55 in 1997 fine this is what i have discussed i have used the word after fine then between 2001 and 2005 between 2001 and 2005 so here we have 
here we have 2001 and we have 2001 for this and 2005 for this so there was an increase fine between 2001 and 2005 comma spending increased constantly in both the nations as we saw spending increased in both the nation between 2001 and 2005 okay france had around 70 million dollars expenditure on books fine whereas italy was having around 60 million dollars spending on books in 2005 now i am going to describe only 2005 because the spending increased constantly there was not a noticeable change in the spending so the spending increased in both countries france had around 70 million dollars expenditure if we look at france here we have 70 million dollars amount so it was around 70 million dollars in france whereas if we talk about italy italy was having around 60 million dollars spending so we have italy it was here this line is uh, 460 so it was around 60 million dollars on books in 2005 and last year here our modi paragraph 2 is also complete so as you have seen this is how i write the writing task one so it is simple to understand it is clear and uh, the sentences are very familiar to the examiner and the sentences are natural you can't say that i have crammed the language no it's not crammed language it is my natural language so this is how you need to write the writing task one fine if you really like the video press press the like button if you have any suggestions you can comment in the comment box uh, below so i have also made some videos on bar chart if you have some issues with writing bar chart so you can watch those videos fine thanks for watching the video